Good evening, I'm Maura Lee. And I'm Dan Wolf. Thanks for joining us. The Duluth NAACP is now getting involved in the growing response to what appears to be a brutal assault at a West Duluth bar. Yeah, Northern News Now's Natalie Hefner spent the day investigating and talking to witnesses as well as family members. Natalie, what can you tell us? Yeah, Dan, Laura, the NAACP announced that they are now working with the victim of the assault at the rustic bar in Duluth's Spirit Valley neighborhood. The organization said they will not stop until all perpetrators of the assault are held accountable and that the attack meets the standards for third-degree assault charges. We do want to warn you, some of these images in the story are disturbing. The victim and her mother shared these photos with us today, showing her injuries after the incident early Wednesday morning, which landed her in the hospital. According to a GoFundMe, the woman, whose name police have not yet shared, had a broken nose, swollen eyes, swollen head, and a large cut between her eyebrows. It says her teeth also bit through her lip. As for what we know from police, officers responded to the bar shortly after midnight Wednesday to find the 39-year-old woman with head and face injuries. Police say surveillance video from the bar shows two women having a conversation that turned physical, and that's when two men who knew one of the women got involved and assaulted the 39-year-old. No one involved has been officially identified. According to the victim's daughter, her mother is black and indigenous Sioux and says her attackers were two white men and a white woman. The victim's daughter tells us she believes it could be a hate crime, but again, police have not said what led up to the attack. According to the family's GoFundMe, witnesses saw one of the men stomping and kicking the victim and that she woke up in the parking lot of the bar. Now, the NAACP is sharing the daughter's GoFundMe and asking anyone with information to call the DPD. I did go to the Rustic Bar earlier today, and it was closed. We also reached out to the bar's owner, and they haven't returned our calls or messages. Thank you, Natalie. At this time, DPD has not made any arrests. No charges have been filed as they say the investigation is ongoing. Well,